everybody. We are back again today and it's time for phonics. So it's our phonics today. When we are doing phonics, it's really, really important that we have these switched on our listening ears because phonics is all about hearing sounds. Okay, now the last couple of times in phonics, we've been thinking about alliteration. Can you say that big word again? Alliteration. We've been talking about alliteration and we've been talking about initial sounds. So can you remember what it means when we think about alliteration? It's when all the words begin with the same sound. They all begin with the same sound, like silly Sam or loopy Luna or rusty rabbit okay so alliteration is when the birds this, begin with the this, same this sound is not what it, big mama. blanket so the words begin with the same sound and that's called alliteration and it's also listening to those initial sounds and the initial sound is the first sound that we hear in a word so today we're going to work on that again but I know that some children are now ready for putting letters to sounds. Okay, so identifying a sound that matches a letter as well. So we're going to start looking at that in our phonics, but we're also going to make sure that it's still accessible for the children who aren't quite ready for looking at letter sounds yet. So the first thing that we do in nursery school, in early years, when we're looking at letter sounds, is we don't introduce the letter straight away because the children need to be able to hear the sound, which is where the alliteration and the initial sounds work comes in. Okay, so we're going to look at some sound words together and then we're going to put a letter sound to it afterwards. Okay? Right, now, when we were doing our initial sounds, we did our what's in the bag, didn't we? So we're going to do a what's in the bag again today. All right, but for grown-ups, there's a lot more exciting things you could do. You could hide the objects around your house. You could bury them in mud or sand if you've got sand or flour or shaving foam. And then they could dig the sounds out of that as well. But just for the video today, we're going to do um, Sam's What's in the Bag. Okay, so are we ready? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Who wants to have a look at what's in the bag? Let's have a look and see what we've got in the bag, Luna. Luna's going to choose. What is she going to pick? Uh, oh, what have you got? It's my little star. It's a star. Thank you. Let's show everybody. Luna picked out the star we've got the star today can you say star star can you say star 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 and i want you to listen to the sound at the beginning of the word and we're going to make it sound a bit longer we're going to do this star star fantastic well done i can hear the at the beginning of star, let's put our star on there. Right, just choose another one. Are we ready? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Who wants to have a look at what's in the bag? Let's have a look. Let's choose what is in the bag. Come on, Luna, what are you going to pick? What else is in there? What's Sam put in the bag this morning? Say it quickly. Oh, let's have a look. Can you tell me what that is? It's a spoon. Can you say the word spoon? Spoon. Let's listen to the first sound in that word. Spoon. You say it. Spoon. Fantastic. Well done. Let's put the spoon there. Right, let's see if we can choose another one. What other s objects could be in the bag? Can you think of something that begins with s 
that might be in my bag. Mm, well done if you can think of one. Now let's have a look, let's see if you can guess. Ready? What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Who wants to have a look at what's in the bag? Let's have a look what else is in there. There's something that you wear on your head when it's sunshiny in this bag. I wonder if you can guess what that is. What did Luna choose? Let's have a look. Let's show the boys and girls. What's that? It's snail. a snail. It's a snail. With a shell. With a shell, that's right. We've got a snail in the bag. It's a very slow snail in the bag, isn't it? We've got a snail and a spoon and a Star. Can you guess what other s things might be in my bag? <gasps> Let's see. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Who wants to have a look at what's in the bag? Are we ready? Let's choose one more thing. Oh, very good. What's this one? Triangle. No, it's a square. It's a square. We've got a, a square in the bag. Let's have a look at that. We've got a square. Can you say that? Square. A square in the bag. Okay, so we've got the square, we've got the star, we've got the spoon and we've got the snail in the bag. Leave it there, leave it on there. Okay, now then, we've been listening to all those words and if your child, you need your good sitting now, if your child is really good at listening to those sounds and picking those sounds up. I bet we, I bet you all are, aren't you? Fantastic. Then we can start to think about the letter. Okay, so we can start to think about the mark making that goes alongside this sound. So, what we can do is we can close our eyes. Can you close your eyes? Close your eyes. Close them. Shh. And listen. It's really important that you're listening now. Okay. Today, we've been looking at things that begin with the sound S. Keep your eyes closed and just listen to Sam making the sound S. Can you make the sound S? Can you make that sound it sounds like a slithery snake. Can you make that sound? Wow, I thought there were lots of snakes around them. That was brilliant making that sound. You might also want to try looking in a mirror when you're making that sound and looking at your mouth when you're making this sound. So that was the sound and it goes with the letter S. This is the letter S and it makes the sound S. Now there's lots of different ways that we can have a go at making the S sounds. So I'm going to show you a few. We could get your magic finger and you could write it in the sky like a big, it's a very curly letter, isn't it? It goes round like that. Can you do that, Luna? Go round for that I got my giant pencil. You could, or you could oh. use a giant pencil, Luna. Luna likes a giant oh. pencil. 
You could just make lots of wiggly lines like that. Wiggle, 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 if you're practicing. Now, Luna's been very excited by this that I've got here. This is a tray of salt. It could be flour, it could be anything really. And this is really, really good for mark making. So you can get your Peter Pointer and you can have a go at writing this like that. And if you're not ready for letter sounds, you can do wiggly lines in it. Can you use using Peter Pointer? Peter Pointer, that's it. Peter Pointer. Use your Peter Pointer and you can make wiggly lines in the site in the salt like that. Beautiful. So we can use it's about, it's about making sure that children are just gaining some control over their movements when they when they mark making. Not all your hand, only Peter Pointer. Only Peter Pointer. That's it. Right, have another go. You could also I've got my play doh. You could also make the letter using your play doh. You could have a go at making your letter using play doh. For no, snail, for salt. You could even use a pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner, please. And use a pipe cleaner to make your letter sound. Okay, it's really important when we introduce the letter S that you expose children to the word S because that's what the letter is called. The letter is called S and it makes a S sound. It's really important, try not to say S. Okay, I know it's really tricky, but when you say S, that's not actually the sound that the letter makes because we don't say S tar and Sapoon and snail. We say snail, spoon, and s star. Okay, so please try, try hard not to say s. It is s. And have a go. Look at all the different s objects in your house. See if you can do some mark making for the letter s. And if you're not ready for associating the letter s with the sound, then that's absolutely fine. We're still listening to those initial sounds and alliteration. Okay, enjoy your phonics, everybody. And I hope you are practicing your phonics every single day. Bye.